It's time to extract the honey from the combs and because uh, we don't have a centrifuge I'm going to make a quick and temporary fruit press. Once we're all done I'll take the press apart and use the wood and make a new bee box. So to get the uh, sizes that I need I'm splining the pieces together here which will also give me the strength and uniformity I want. And once they're all done I'll run them to the planer and clean them all up. They're all gluing up, they sit overnight, and then the whole box gets assembled with two and a half inch deck screws. In case you're wondering about the purple paint on all the wood, that's what Home Depot does to mark their uh, call lumber. And then they discount it at about 70%. And, uh, and then you can get some good stuff if you keep your eye on that call bin. Otherwise it'd be pretty expensive for all this cedar. And uh, we put the whole thing together with the deck screws and then uh, we're going to test it out here. I would rather have this thing uh, fail right now than to have it fail while we're underway. So I'm going to take this, we got a, this half inch threaded rod, I'm going to crank this thing down real hard and uh, there goes the uh, press block. We'll run this thing down with a drill and uh, once we get to the press block then we'll do it by hand and get a, a little more torque on it that way. And it seems to work great. And Dave starts pulling the combs. Now you would think that shaking the bees off like that would whip them into a frenzy. Uh, but they just carry on with their work as if nothing had happened. And uh, we do this sometimes even without any protection at all. No hood or, or coat or anything. Now this comb is pretty dark. It's been used several times. And so it's, it's really kind of at the end of its life. And uh, we're going to scrape it all off here. It's, uh, it's pretty hard because it's so old. It's, it, it hangs onto that foundation uh, piece in the middle there pretty hard. Uh, but we just keep at it and get it down and then uh, run the screw down and start pressing it all. And we squish that stuff down into a, that comb into a little block and uh, you see there the, uh, the beginnings of our process. Uh, full of uh, little bits of honeycomb and the odd uh, bee that happens to unfortunately find their way in. And then we start taking the deck screws out and scraping off whatever we can. And, uh, and then we'll move all those pieces right over next to the hive and in seconds they're all over it. It's just incredible how fast they can find it. You can see here they're, they're taking it and they're going to take that honey and they're going to put it right back in the comb and we'll get it next time. And there is that honeycomb all squished down. I don't think any press at any price could have uh, pressed that any harder. 24 hours later and here it is completely clean. Just incredible. No stickiness, no honey left at all. They are burrowing their way in and getting every last drop of goodness there. And there is the wood, all disassembled, and ready for the next project. We go through three filters here, one right after the other. A coarse, medium, and fine filter. It all drips right down into the bucket below, all food grade plastic, of course, all made specifically for this. And uh, finally, after letting it drain overnight, it goes into the quart jars, what we've been waiting for. Beautiful, local, healthy, organic honey straight from the comb, eight frames, eight quarts, incredible. And I'd like to thank the bees for this miracle. And we'll go back doing what we can do now to keep them safe and healthy so they can go about their natural work.